Welcome back to 5 Minute Knives, the channel that's aging like a cheap wine. Today, today, today we're going to be talking about a fixed blade. And this is a fixed blade from Cold Steel. This is the Cold Steel Kuban or Kobine or KO bun. And it comes with a secure X sheath as per the use. But I can say that this one actually has really good retention, no rattle of any kind. Is very slim and um, here's your retention clip I'm getting that in frame by the way I am wearing a set of strong suit gloves I don't know what model okay somebody mentioned something about the gloves last time uh, I won't do that click too many times I know it it's hard to get the audio right for that so there it is you get like a kind of stainless metal clip and this is for like clipping in your boots uh, but the only boots I have of height are these 511 Fast Hack, Fast Hack boots. They're going too fast to say attack. It's just fast and tack. But these are eight inches, and this doesn't this doesn't really work very well for them. It'd be really really uncomfortable. Some some of the 511 model boots or whatever uh, come with like a little pouch on the side that this may be actually really good for. I don't know. I do have my eye on the, um, I don't know, the K-Bar line. Uh, like They're like a, I don't know, law enforcement uses them. They're really cool. They're, they got like a little L shape. I, I don't know what they're called offhand, but I'm interested in reviewing that next. I thought this might be in that same vein. And, eh, you know, I can say this. It's a fun knife. It's aesthetically pleasing. This is a, uh, let's look it up here. This is a five and a half inch blade of Aus 8 steel. So nothing to get excited about. But it's 40 bucks. This is cheap. And the reason I bought this, I mean, I like a lot of cold steel stuff actually. But I made that video, The Current State of Cold Steel, where I, um, I was picking on Lynn Thompson's white sneakers and his shorts on uh, his How to Win Your saber duel video <laughs> your saber duels uh for everybody that was struggling to uh maintain dominance in the saber dueling circuit and um he's wearing his he's, he's got his saber out there's another gentleman on the cover with his saber out and he's got his uh white sneaks and i don't know i just get a kick out of it i thought it was funny and it's, it's, it's a funny thing to make a video about too so then i felt bad because i picked on him and I went, I went ahead and I gave him 40 bucks in a roundabout way. So I think that we're even. If I, if I pick on you and then I give you 40 bucks, like I'm a smart ass. So, I mean, that could really be like a nice little nest egg over time, right? Anyway, there's that um, satin finish. You get this kind of like rubberized, cold steely stuff that you guys are familiar with. This guard is more or less just like aesthetic. But it's cool. It's it's like not in the way. It's semi-functional. It's okay. Uh, but it's made out of like this plasticky kind of stuff. And then you get a little lanyard. Actually, pretty pretty good size lanyard hole right there. And then the pommel. You know, the end is just like more of the same. So this is the knife. I figured, you know, I would just get it for fun. Um, it's It's a fun knife to own. It's very fast. It's snappy. If if that's a term, it's very very lightweight. This is four point four ounces. Um, handle four and three eighths, made in Taiwan, Taiwan knife. So, but it's only forty bucks. It was cheap, and actually, you know what I do like about it a lot is, um, it's got really nice retention. It has no rattle of any kind. You know, some of these secure X sheets can be really hit or miss, and I think they're all kind of like meh. I always make my own, you know, well, you guys know I make cheese anyway, so. But um, this one's very nice. And the retention's, you know, strong. So if you needed the grandma package, this might actually be a little too much for some thumbs. But for me, I'm okay. I like it. Um, I can't find a use for this in my collection. I think it's kind of fun, but I don't keep stuff that's kind of fun, so... I know a lot of people do like this knife. I think it's okay. It's fun. I think that maybe if you were like 
I don't know. Maybe if we were like cowboy boots, this would be good. This metal clip is actually pretty solid. Sorry about that. That pop. But it's pretty solid. I don't know. A good clip. Right, 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 right. So if you're wearing cowboy boots or something, some other such thing, this might work for you. It's not my thing. Uh, the only boots I have are padded too thick to really, it would be very uncomfortable wearing this. Also, why? What would I use this for? I I have no use for this. So, I don't, you know, it, it sounds dumb and I don't mean this as an insult. I literally thought that this could be a good letter uh, letter opener, but it's kind of not. You would want more of a continuous sweep than a Tonto grind. So it's okay for opening letters, I guess. But I think it was just kind of like fun and it is very lively, lively in the hand. But yeah, it's a cool knife. So l let me know, know in the comments that uh, if you guys want, you know, this for a giveaway. Maybe if enough of you guys want this, I'll I'll use this for a giveaway. All right? We'll do an, we'll do a giveaway every time I don't like something. <laughs> How's that? So I do like it. It's not that I I don't like it. I don't want to seem like that type, but and it's not like I'm afraid of you guys either. Like if I don't like something, I don't care if you you can call me stuff in the comments or what. Like I think that's funny. All the dislikes, so silly. Just because I didn't like a certain thing, I do like this. It's actually a fun knife. I just don't know what I would use it for. I do like that it has a little sharpening choil here. I don't know if you can see that. There is a little sharpening choil, which is actually pretty nice. Um, the grind's okay. If you needed just like a lightweight, I mean, this would be, probably be really good for food prep, I bet. Uh, and this is a good camp knife. This This would be fine for like, if this was like your food prep, maybe in a bug out bag. Maybe. I don't know. I could see. I'd rather go with like a Mora. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm probably going to have my lady on um, the show one of these days because we've had a little Mora uh, in our kitchen for a while. And, you know, we moved from like an apartment to a house and did all this stuff. And then, uh, you know, so we start off with like no dishes or anything like that. You know how it is when you're starting out. And I had this Mora handy and she just started cutting, you know, doing food prep with it. And it just stayed in the kitchen this whole time. So I figured we should do a review on it. And she's the one that's really used it this whole time. So she can do the review if you guys want. But you got to be nice to her, though. I don't care what you say to me. Okay? You be rude to her, I'll take it down. How's that? So anyway, I'm thinking about making this a giveaway. If enough of you guys comment down below that you want this as a giveaway, I'm just going to pick somebody out of that. And then I'll make it, you know, maybe another video or what I'll do is you seem to have fun. Last time I said, uh, name the last time you cried in a movie and your least manly hobby. So maybe, maybe come up with, um, leave that in the comments too. What do you think the, the terms of the giveaway should be? Should it just be like you commented and it's just in a pile or do you want to make it fun where you got to follow some sort of rule? So you let me know what you would prefer being the subs and, uh, you know, I'll abide. So anyway, here's this Koban. It's okay. Uh, you know, it's fun, but uh, I don't, I don't have a use for it. So I'm thinking about giving it away. Uh, would I recommend that you buy it for forty bucks? Why not? Why not? It's a fun knife. I, if you can find a use for it, it's totally worth forty bucks for sure. Uh, it's just all eight steel, so it's nothing special. But I would say this is a solid little thing to own for a reason. If you have that reason. I can't find one. So let me know if you want it in the giveaways and I will do that. And otherwise we will see you next time on five minute knives.